Let's take a look at the sodium potassium pump. It's considered a pump because the proteins involved force molecules or ions to move from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. It is also considered active transport because it requires energy in the form of ATP to move the molecules or ions against the concentration gradient. Sodium and potassium are essential for proper electrolyte balance in your body and they're very important for your nervous system. The sodium potassium pump moves sodium ions out of the cell and potassium ions into the cell. It begins with three sodium ions which are positioned in the carrier protein. An ATP molecule splits and releases phosphate. This phosphate bonds to the carrier protein which causes it to change its shape. The new shape releases the three sodium ions outside the cell. This new shape also allows two potassium ions outside the cell to bind with the carrier protein and move inside. The phosphate is released and the carrier protein moves back to its original shape. As a result, two potassium ions move into the cell and three move out. And this cycle repeats. The ratio is three sodium ions for every two potassium ions. So let's take a look at it again. If you'd like to know more about sodium potassium pumps and active transport, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching and Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.